My name is Mart Tamuboa. I hope my video is okay. So um, that's my presentation. Just a bit about CRECO, just so that you can know what exactly we do. So in full, it's the constitution of 22 civil society organizations working around areas on democracy, governance, constitutional and human rights issues in Kenya. And it was founded in 1999. So CRECO uh, with support from Troika, I have to just make this introduction so that you can know who exactly was our partner. Um, we implemented a project called Monitoring, and hu Monitoring Human Rights Violation During COVID-19 pandemic in Kenya with the objective of documenting and analyzing human rights violation during the COVID-19 pandemic because these regulations, they came with human rights violation issues. So nobody was looking into that. So that's exactly the background of our, of our project. And that's why we have the, the findings that we have today. Uh, so we targeted uh, groups in the grassroots communities, the women, youth, people with, living with disabilities, and marginalized groups. And as well now as the duty bearers responsible, because now after we've collected all this information, who are we going to put it out to for help? So duty bearers are also like um, beneficiaries of this project. Uh, so now my presentation today shares a part of the results, just a part of the results uh, and, and learning on impact of COVID-19 pandemic on vulnerable groups and government response in dealing with the pandemic. Next, next slide, please. Next slide, please. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's that, the slide I'm asking for. Thank you. So impact on uh, vulnerable groups, vulnerable groups, children, women, persons living with disability, and poor people. First of all, one of the regulations in Kenya was that was actually not in Kenya, but worldwide, that the closure of schools. So it, it, it really affected the school going children. And there was over 70 percent increase in teenage pregnancies due to this due to that okay we can't blame it on the closure of schools but having children at home and having them not really doing something in particular just subjected them to to be open to this um inhuman behaviors because some of them were raped not, not all of them asked for this pregnancy they, some of them didn't have a choice you know um, so yeah, teenage pregnancies was, was the major problem here in Kenya and uh, among the, going, the school going children. And also now exposure to drug substance and abuse, exposure to crime. And also, you know that the internet was wide open for everybody and not much control over it. So these sites that when children go to, it's just an entire problem. So these were the kind of issues that were here in Kenya. And I'm sure even in other African countries might have been the same. Um, and then women. Uh, women, first of all, in Africa, women are, they, they, they have so much uh, burden to like take care of what is going on around them to just have the household in, in good shape. And, you know, so increased care burden for women to care for the sick. Mm -hmm. So they were at higher risk even of exposure to this COVID-19. And also now the sexual and gender-based violence against women and also